Hi, my name is Coldbeer and let's start with Valheim. Most of us can remember the hype it caused on release date. And the hype is well deserved, this game is really a masterpiece with a review score, never. At least on Steam, never below 90%. It may scare you that the game is still in early access after all those years. But if you focus on the main objectives only, it will still provide you with more than 70 hours of gameplay. And in general, Wallheim is a brutal exploration and survival game for 1 to 10 players, set in a procedurally generated world inspired by Norse mythology. You will craft powerful weapons, construct longhouses, grow your balls and slay mighty foes to prove yourself to Odin. And also check out this amazing new Humble Games bundle. Seven Steam games and among them such hits like Metal Hellsinger, Scars Above, Plague Tale Innocence and more. You can buy four games for 9 euros or all seven of them for about 14 euros. This is one of the better bundles in a while, so don't hesitate and you will find my affiliate link to this collection in the description and in the first pinned comment below. Ghost Runner 2 in the second part of this legendary game, you will adventure through a post-apocalyptic cyberpunk future. It takes place after the fall of the Keymaster, a tyrant who rule over Dharma Tower, which is the last refuge of mankind. Now you have to take on the violent AI cult that has assembled outside the tower and shaped the future of humanity. Their only demand is that humanity should put pineapple in every bowl of potato salad. Blasphemy! Blasphemy! An absolute heresy, so you should eradicate this cult once and for all. So here you'll find new katana combat mechanics, a deeper exploration of the world beyond Dharma Tower, non-linear levels with complex motorbike sections, new modes and all the action you loved about the first part of the game. Plus, boss fights are more interactive, giving you freedom to choose how to survive battles against the toughest opponents. The review score is very positive and everyone is praising great voice acting, intriguing story and saying that if you like the first part but there is no way that you won't like the second as well. Gris. Here you will play as a young girl lost in her own world, dealing with a painful experience in her life. Probably someone put a slice of pineapple in her potato salad and she can't recover after that. Oh, the horror. So as the story unfolds, you will grow emotionally and see the world in a different way, revealing new paths to explore using your new abilities. Here you won't encounter any enemies, there is no danger or death. And just look how beautiful this game is. The art style is absolutely stunning, people on Steam are saying that not only only the art, but absolutely everything in this game is great. Music, gameplay and even the story will leave you gobsmacked. And it's not so hard to believe in those words. Just look at it. There aren't many things that are as beautiful as this game. Well, except boobs. Sorry, Grace, you lose on this one. Black Sad. This is a gloomy game set in a New York City of the 1950s in the world of anthropomorphic animals. You will play as Black Sad, a private detective, and will have to untangle the secrets of a mysterious disappearance. This sinister case will take you to the darkest, most dismal depths of New York where you will immerse yourself in a eerily dark adventure. Game is based on comic books, but if you don't know them, it's not a problem, it's probably even better to not have any untimely bias. People on Steam are saying that this is a very interesting game with a sad satisfying deduction mechanic, probably one of the best among other detective games. Although keep in mind that the game is short, it will take you about 9 hours to finish it. Crowns and Pawns, Kingdom of Deceit are you ready for some hot point-and-click action? Yeah, I know, you probably are not, but this game, apart from an interesting story, is a proud owner of the best game made in Lithuania in the year of 2022 award. Yeah, we are a small nation, AAA titles are rare. Honestly, there are none probably, but this indie game is actually good. The story follows a girl from Chicago who unexpectedly receives an inheritance from her grandfather, a house in Badums, Lithuania. She sets off to Europe, but upon arrival, she is threatened by an unknown man, demanding to give up her inheritance. So I don't know, maybe a member of the local mafia. But honestly, there aren't any real mafia in my country. When we joined the European Union some 20 years ago, all the bad guys left for London, leaving Lithuania a crazy safe country. Probably one of the safest in the entire Europe. Anyway, here it's up to you to crack the riddle of your inheritance and learn all the secrets. Hard West 2 
You are a notorious outlaw with a dangerous reputation. On the hunt for a big score you hear talk that a ghost train filled with federal gold is heading your way. So you swiftly assemble some cool people with cool guns and a few of them with even cooler supernatural powers. Sounds cool, huh? Well, the train is called Ghost Train for a reason. No spoilers though. It is a non-linear turn-based strategy game that is filled with puzzles to the brim. Instead of a traditional level up system, the game relies on acquiring equipment and cards. So you build a poker hand to power up your team members. Hard West 2 has several difficulty levels, up to 6 team members and many other cool features, but voice acting isn't too great. Also the game isn't optimized very well, so the game score on Steam always fluctuates between mostly and very positive. Blasphemous 2 Awakened in a strange new land and displaced from your final resting place, you trust back into the endless cycle of life, death and resurrection. There is no other option than to explore this perilous new world and uncover its long-forgotten secrets. There is nothing game-changing or very innovative in the second part of the Blasphemous, but you know the rule. If it's not broken, don't fix it. Your journey starts anew in a series of enchantingly grotesque landscapes, oozing gothic charm and littered with unforgiving traps. How you tackle the labyrinthian world remains at your discretion. There is no wrong turn to be made, only scores to settle. Taking down your enemies won't be easy, but the game is offering more chances to customize and improve your skill set, along with several new unique weapons to wield, so victory might just be within your grasp, but probably not. Traveler's Rest this is a tavern management game where you can brew your own beer, run a farm and build relationships. You are an innkeeper on a journey to transform a rundown tavern into a bustling social space. Based in a cheerful fantasy setting, Traveler's Rest is a place to meet people, explore new places and uncover ancient magic. Along your journey you'll discover new things to brew, farm, cook and build to create your perfect fantasy tavern. The game is still in early access but has more than 90% of positive reviews. People on Steam are saying that this game is awesome and if you like titles like Stardew Valley, it's a must-play. Also, you can smack angry customers away with your mob. Planet of Lana. A really beautiful platformer with hundreds of tiny details that make it pop out of the other similar projects. Here, a planet that used to be a place of undisturbed balance between human nature and animal now has become something else entirely. The disharmony that had been in the making for hundreds of years has finally arrived in the form of Faceless Army. But this is not a story about war. This is a story about a vibrant, beautiful planet and the journey to keep it that way. The game looks like someone crossbred Miyazaki his movies with Star Wars and that is never a bad thing. Northgard. This is an RTS game based on Norse mythology in which you play as a clan of Vikings vying for the control of Mysterio's newfound continent. In this simple strategy game you will find lots of victory conditions, atmospheric music changing seasons and, as you can see, pretty nice art design. Also, the game has a decent campaign with a pretty good story. Sadly, as I've mentioned many times before, Nordgard's AI is cheating with infinite resources and manpower, meaning that developers couldn't create really good intelligence that could win against humans on its own. Well, I know that many strategy games do not have strong AIs, but they at least try. But you never know, maybe developers were AI geniuses, but they were afraid of accidentally making Skynet. You know, being accused of making a bad AI is one thing, but being responsible for a robot uprising that destroyed human civilization? Yeah, you know, better safe than sorry. Nevertheless, Northgard is a good RTS game for a few days, or maybe more, maybe you will fall in love with it. You know, like Tapeworm falls in love love with your guts. The Gunk this is an action-adventure game in which you play as one of two gritty space holers. As you are struggling to bring in funds, you chance upon an untouched planet brimming with life. You came in search of valuable resources and it looks like you hit the jackpot. But as you uncover the dormant secrets of a shattered civilization, you must battle the curse of a toxic gunk parasite. You will use your trusty power glove to reverse the corruption, uncover secrets of old and heal the planet. Also experience the evolving relationship of the crew as you explore this universe. Unique world. The game has a very positive review score, so it may be a good choice for your evening. Also, don't forget about this great Humble Bundle collection. You will find my affiliate link in the description and in the first pinned comment below. Keep in mind that with every purchase, you can adjust the amount I get and support my channel even more. This will not change the price for you in any way. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!